Dear friends, good evening. I am Dr. Sendhil Kumar, SNS College of Technology, Associate Professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering. So here, I am giving a small article on solar energy. We know that solar energy is abundant, which is from the nature, which maintains the ecosystem, in turn maintains the human health and agriculture also. So, which has the abundant energy, which is the reason for our ecosystem. For example, rain comes due to vaporization of the fluid in a earth surface. This vaporized fluid stores over the earth, the cloud, and which rotates and gives us the rain. So, this cyclic work is carried out by the solar energy. So, simply it does not give direct action of the rain. It interacts with the air molecules which is on the earth that in turn makes the rotation of the wind, that wind which makes the movement of the cloud which gives the rain, the rain droplet which is available on the earth which is absorbed by latent heat of vaporization from the solar energy and which create the photosynthesis that we will know very clearly. The photosynthesis reason for our food creation which is uh, most important part of our human life not only for human, for all the creatures, it gives food. And coming into the another part, the another part is the technological growth. The technological growth nowadays are increasing day by day. Based on the case study and design thinking, the technological growths are moving into the vertical height and it is not measurable also. Of course, it is growing very slowly because of its innovative cost effectiveness. And in due course, that will be minimized like our solar cooker and solar photovoltaic and initial we struggle lot to invent the photovoltaic from the case study it is understood and nowadays it is very cheaper because of its continuous improvement and its modifications. Likewise, several applications we can say based on the solar energy. So we can say the cooking also done by the solar energy. Electricity is produced by solar light like photosynthesis and um, electrical energy which is made from the electronic equipment of PV system is nowadays used for several applications. And coming to the solar water heating, it is an active or passive method whichever is convenient to the uh, local area, it is care, taken care by several technologies available in the solar energy innovation technologies and coming into the application part which is having the several application so water heating solar cooking photovoltaic and um, heating cooling and ventilation and process heat the process heat which is available from the solar can be utilized for drying the fruits drying the food items drying the clothes and several applications likewise we can list n number of applications of the solar energy and as a nutshell the solar energy is the energy which is positive energy which is needed for our human uh, manifestation and maintaining the health also and certain amount of uh, omega 3 and uh, wanted rays which is needed for our human health also so with this short note i would like to close this solar energy article and it has several points to discuss and it will be a small pinch for you to kindle your mind towards the solar energy. Thank you very much for patient listening my article on solar energy. Thank you very much.